this out and look at the specifics of how blood flows through the heart. And hopefully this is going to be pretty easy because you already know we get deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart and then it goes out to the lungs. That's where it picks up oxygen and then we send that oxygenated blood back to the heart and out to the body. So you understand the big picture. Now we have to get into the nitty gritty of exactly how that blood flows through the heart. Again, let's start with the body in that deoxygenated blood. It's going to return to the right atrium of the heart through two of the biggest veins in our body. They're called the superior and inferior vena cava. So notice those are in blue. We've got deoxygenated blood coming back to the heart. It goes in the right atrium. And then what does it flow through? One of those valves. Remember, one-way street. From the right atrium to the right ventricle, we have the tricuspid valve. Once it's in the right ventricle and that right ventricle contracts, it has to go through the pulmonic semilunar valve. Remember the exit door to the right ventricle. That's going to send it through the pulmonary artery and out to the lungs. Remember, artery A away from the heart. The right side of the heart, since we know it's that deoxygenated side, it's sending blood out to the lungs. It's the blue line of that subway. Once the blood gets out to the lungs, it's going to drop off all of the waste products and pick up that really good oxygen. Now we've got some red oxygenated blood. We're on the red subway line. We'll go from the lungs back to the heart now. We've got the blood returning through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. Now it has to go through that valve separating the left atria and left ventricle. Remember, there's two names for this one, the mitral or the bicuspid valve. So it'll go through that valve into the left ventricle. And when the left ventricle squeezes, it has to go out that exit door, the aortic valve, into the aorta, our biggest artery. That artery goes away and out to the body. This is the end of that red subway line. We're bringing that oxygenated blood all the way out to the body. So I know it's a lot of moving pieces. Hopefully breaking down each component helped. Let's go through it just one more time because I promise this is important. Deoxygenated blood returns to the right atrium from the superior and inferior vena cava. It passes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery, and boom, out to the lungs. Our deoxygenated blood now gets to pick up oxygen. We're hopping on the red line. That red oxygenated blood returns to the left side of the heart through those pulmonary veins, goes into the left atria, through the left atria, through the mitral valve, into the left ventricle. Left ventricle through the aortic valve into the aorta. And where does the aorta bring our oxygenated blood? Out to the body. So a couple key takeaways I want you to think of from here. Right side of the heart, deoxygenated blood. Left side of the heart, oxygenated blood. Secondly, where are they sending the blood? Well, it makes sense when you know the overall pathophysiology. The right side of the heart is sending that deoxygenated blood to the lungs. That's what I referred to earlier as the pulmonary circuit. The right side of the heart has to send that deoxygenated blood to the lungs so it can pick up oxygen, right? That makes sense. Now, the left side of the heart, you know it deals with oxygenated blood. Where does it send its blood? Out to the body. That's what I referred to earlier as the systemic circuit. It's got good red oxygenated blood that's ready to use. It's going to send it out to the body. So your two key takeaways, right side, deoxygenated blood, and it goes to the lungs. Left side, oxygenated blood, and it goes to the body.
If this lecture was helpful for you, we've got plenty more where that came from. Head over to archerreview.com and subscribe to one of our many affordable packages to study for nursing school, the NCLEX, and beyond. We'll see you there, future nurses.